So viewers, before we start this video lesson, I want you to know that this video lesson was originally broadcasted on my premium courses not too long ago. And this video is one of the most watched video on my e-learning website. I'll tell you about my premium courses and my e-learning website later on. And now, let's learn how to do butterfly lighting. Hello and welcome back to the channel. The world of photography has created many fantastic classic portrait lighting styles like this. In this video and the series of more to come, we're going to explore and understand and learn each and every one of these lighting styles and understand their strength and also their weaknesses. Today's butterfly lighting. And viewers to model for butterfly lighting, the wonderful Gazelle. Hi, I'm Gazelle. You know what? I'm going to go set up the butterfly light and also go through with you the camera settings. So how do you get started with butterfly lighting? Here are the things that you need bare minimum. Firstly, you need a light stand. Something that you can get really high, 6 feet and above. And then you need to have a sandbag to weigh down your light stand. I'll tell you why. And you need to mount your light on this light stand. And that's where I have this thing. You can actually buy this online. And what I like about this is that it has a built-in Bowen's mount because all my modifiers use Bowen mounts. So I'll attach this here and this is how it looks like now. So modifier goes to the front and the flash can be clamped here. A hot shoe flash. You don't exactly need a studio light. Well, if you have a studio light, so much the better. Slot in your flash this way and then make sure that your flash lamp sits flush to this modifier head here. Clamp this down with a screw and there you have it. Let's install a modifier. A butterfly light always uses a modifier. Traditionally, you can use a beauty dish, an umbrella. I'm going to use a softbox. So my softbox has a bone mount and this is how it looks like. I will have one side open, grab this here, fit it to the mount and rotate. And once I've got this in, turn this knob, close back this with the Velcro. Turn on the flash and you're probably thinking what power to use. Well, you need to have this flash mounted high up. So best to have your power figured out now. Try full power, half power or 1 over 4 on the manual mode. Okay. So I turn on optical trigger, I set the power to half. I'll set the zoom to 24 because the softbox will modify the lights for me anyway. And because the softbox and the modifier goes there, it's going to be heavy. It's best to have this leg pointed this way. If you were to have the leg pointed this way, it's going to be risky because it can fall very easily. And that's why you need to have a sandbag to balance things down. And viewers, the essence to butterfly lighting is to move your light and place it directly in front of your subject and raise this up all the way to be higher than your subject, like so. So I'm going to give you an idea how it looks like from there. This is what it's going to do. It's going to come down on your subject's forehead like this. So you've got to make sure that the lower leg faces this way. And let me go grab my camera. And the second challenge of the butterfly lighting. This light stand is obstructing your shoot. So it's kind of in a way. Here's the tip that I use. Have your left hand cross over and hold your camera this way, kind of like bracing your light stand. And it works wonderfully. Head down a little bit and look directly at me and smile. That's good one too. So having that shadow under the nose can be iconic, but sometimes it's just too dark and then everybody will look at the shadow. So what you're going to do is simple. Bring the flash power down. So instead of that 1 over 4, I'm bringing this down all the way to just 1 over 32. So when I do this, I'm going to raise this all the way up. Same angle, facing the front. And I'll show you what you do with your camera setting. So instead of shooting at f4, I'm going to bring this all the way down to f2. And let me show you what happens. Let's have a pose. Hmm, that's really nice.
And viewers, this is the iconic butterfly lighting. It's called butterfly lighting because of this beautiful shadow that you have under the subject's nose here. Doesn't it look a little bit like a butterfly? And because butterfly lighting is so easy to set up, many international brands that are related to beauties like hair products and makeup companies love to use butterfly lighting on their commercial shoots and advertisement shoots. So if you use butterfly lighting on your subject, it's very easy to make your subject's face look chiseled and sharp and everybody will look like a Hollywood superstar. However, and if your subject have foreheads or cheeks that are too high, butterfly lighting may not be suitable because it will just emphasize the forehead and that cheek too much. Quick history on butterfly lighting. Traditionally, butterfly lighting were used mostly for female subjects. Hence, butterfly lighting falls under the beauty lighting style. But these days, you can safely use butterfly lighting for female or male subjects. And if you add two more hair lights on the left and right behind your subject, butterfly lighting are gonna make your subjects look even more fantastic. I bet you enjoyed today's video. If you do, I have only one small request to ask from you. Head on to my e-learning website right here. Check out these two courses. The first one is my e-learning course on portrait. You will go through and learn all the classic lighting portraits from this e-learning and check out the price, it's truly affordable. Apart from that, another place that you can learn about lighting and much more is my premium courses. With premium courses, we upload video lessons every week on a wide genre topic, not just portrait, not just lighting, camera settings, stock photos, outdoor street photography, nature photography, and you'll learn things like artistic photography as well. Huge wide genre. So hurry, head on to my e-learning website, support my content so that I can continuously come to YouTube and make free videos and together we learn about photography and be better in photography. I'll see you again. Oh, beautiful. Let's do one more. Different pose. Yeah, it does. Look. Yeah. Okay. You think what? We just go to YouTube every week and shoot lousy photos? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. This is where I go like. Oh my goodness. Kids. Don't spit on your model's hair. Right. And here's the... <laughs> and here's the... <laughs>